win. Yeah, how is she gonna get out of this? Oh my god. She's oh she okay. The bullet. <laughs> what? Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is my beautiful wife Montana and this is Rue and this is Hogarth. And today we're going to be reacting to Season 1 Episode 17 of Jujutsu Kaisen, Kyoto Sister School Exchange Event, Group Battle 3. Hello, yes, we last episode were uh, introduced to Panda's different forms, all yes. those really cool transformations. Lots of animals. Well, and if you're excited for more episodes of Jujutsu Kaisen, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for episodes coming every Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes right now, they're all posted to Patreon in their extended full-length forms, including some episodes of Season 2, which is very exciting. Um, are we excited for Episode 17 of Jujutsu Kaisen? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes! Maki? The fact is, she's a total weakling. She can't even see curses. She's just a normal person swinging around curse tools. She'll be a fourth grade forever. I don't know why she's a jujutsu sorcerer at all. Okay, break's over. Well, that's a relief. Stupid Mai! This woman is no weakling! <laughs> yeah. She yeah, don't believe what your sister says. Yeah. Distance, but all I can do is dodge and parry her. If she were using the blade, <laughs> I would have died twice. She yeah, she's just not even blade. trying. Yeah. She could easily defeat second grade curse spirits. And how was she able to swing such a long staff in this forest with so much stuff in the way? <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. Just kicked her off a cliff? Into a river. Oh my god. Whoa. That looked really cool. This is very cool water animation. Yeah. New shadow style. Whoa. Simple domain. Simple domain. This allows me to attack anything that enters the 2.21 meter radius of my domain on full auto reflex. It's released if my oh, wow. from the point where I activated it. Oh, so she has to stay in place. I still have to create an opening first. Yaiko, huh? Looks like she has some tricks too. But there's a difference in our reach. Rather than hit me, she wants to knock away my cursed tool and create an opening. So in that case, she broke it. She's giving up her reach advantage. Oh. She threw it. And that activated okay, the thing. I guess she had to move. Yeah, that activated her yeah. simple domain. Not sure about that one, Chief. Yeah. No sword. Oh, that was really. That was very cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Fight's over, I guess. <laughs> what an interesting girl. You should just go ahead and promote her to second grade already. Do we know who that is? Believe no. Me, I feel the same way. I have a feeling you're a fan. <laughs> you immediately... <laughs> 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 you're not slick. You're not slick. Dude, have we met her yet? <laughs> you should just go uh. ahead and promote her to second grade already. Believe me, I feel the same way. But the Zenin clan keeps on interfering. I wish they would just change their position and accept her. <laughs> I can't understand such restraint unless it's money. You're such a material girl. <laughs> I'm more concerned about the way the coverage around you keeps cutting out. Animals can be fickle creatures, and sharing senses with them is tiring. Wait, she has animal powers? She can com- Oh my god, she's seeing through the eyes of that raven. Are you kidding? She can sense- That's just beast sense. That's awesome. It's tiring. Yeah, I didn't know. Wow. That. Which side are you on anyway, May? I'm on the side May. of money, of course. There's no value to anything that can't be traded for money. If you can't make money with it, what good is it? <laughs> Just how much have you saved up? I don't know what the old man's planning, but I do know he won't find it that easy to deal with Yuji anymore. Yeah, you trained him. Mm -hmm. They're on the move. <laughs> 
The cursed spirits released in the area all have charms on them. So when one disappears, the corresponding charm here in the viewing area is extinguished. Oh. Okay, so Every that's how they're like keeping track of it. Differently, according to the registered cursed energy. When the Tokyo School exercises one, it burns red. When the Kyoto School exercises one, it burns blue. Since Maki is here, charms extinguished by unregistered energy burn red as well. Ah, well, interesting. So how come no one's Cause she doesn't That's use cursed not... energy, she just used cursed items. Yeah. Come down here, you goddamn witch! I've come down there a few times already. Maybe you ought to try and catch me. First year! Cursed energy wind is like a hurricane. It's full of rocks and branches. If I drop my guard, it'll rip my flesh. <gasps> oh. Oh. You dare damage my precious face? <laughs> face is a badge of honor for a man. Though it's just an ugly flaw on a woman. Huh? You think jujutsu sorcery is just strength. That's because it is. That's only true for the men, though. Even if they're strong, women have to be cute, too, or they'll be undervalued. And of course, even if they're cute, they'll still be undervalued, unless they're also strong. Do you get it? They don't demand strength from female jujutsu sorcerers. They demand perfection. And what's worse, Mai has to fight against demands that are even more outrageous. One thing that I do get is that you are a pain in the ass! <laughs> she said, I'm not trying to <laughs> listen to all that. Like, girl power, but not right now. Yeah. She's only a first year, and she's already this accustomed to fighting? That was nothing. I'm used to getting knocked around. If I up my output any further, I might kill her. No, that's just an excuse. The real reason I can't attack her is Inumaki. What is cursed speech? It just uses the power of words. It imbues cursed energy into sound. So all you have to do is to protect your brain and your ears with cursed energy. Cursed speech is a specialized technique for use against oh. cursed spirits. Oh, interesting. It's nothing to be afraid of if you know it's coming. Yes, but if you don't know whether it's coming or not, then you're constantly distracted. Yep. And you're having to use a little bit of cursed energy to protect yourself. Right. Yeah. He's such a nuisance whether he's here or not. Dumb lecturing. I really want to see the extent of his powers. Yeah. She's from one of the three major clans of elite jujutsu sorcerers. The Zenin clan. Where perfection's expected and demanded. These are where the two sisters are from. The Zenin clan's hereditary technique. And any who don't meet that demand start their sorcerer lives as failures. What's even worse, women aren't even allowed to stand at the starting line. Without the Zenin clan lineage, they're not considered to be real jujutsu sorcerers. If they're not considered to be jujutsu sorcerers, they're not even recognized as people. She's lived her entire life scorned in a family without a shred of affection. The suffering mind went through to experience what we all take for granted. Why don't you try thinking that over with that confused brain of yours? <laughs> You have a curse for a friend. Whoa. Shut up. You think misfortune is a free pass to do anything? What then? You're okay with those who are blessed getting trash talked behind their backs? That's just like Saori. I can't stand her, regardless of her upbringing. And I love Maki, who had to endure the same upbringing. Have any of you even bothered to think about what kind of person the idiot you're trying to curse is? What makes you think any one of us is obligated to attain perfection or such absurd demands? Is your entire life just a job? Straw doll, hairpin technique! Oh. Yeah, this is her Holy other thing shit. she did. Oh my god. This must be why she kept shooting those nails that didn't land any hits. It's like creating like a net almost. Is that what's happening? Yeah, I think it's all the different nails are like connecting in a way. Or they're just oh, blowing up wow, individually. Okay. That could be it too. Wow. Whoa. You came close, but you still couldn't reach me. Wrong. I reached you all right. Oh, she got the straw to make Whoa, a booty doll. Okay. all that shit to yourself i love myself when i'm pretty and all dressed up and i love myself when i'm kicking ass 
All right. Hell yeah. <laughs> that is so disrespectful. Yeah, seriously. Oh. Oh, just oh my god. Effective range. And just in time. One hell of a shot. With a pistol is insane. That's crazy. I love the brakes. Yeah. That more show should do that. Every single show we've watched has done it. Are you serious? <laughs> what do you think those My Hero, like, here's their powers in their card? Like, I didn't know that those were always at the exact halfway point. They I thought always it just, are. Okay, They're I didn't realize that. always at the exact that. halfway Okay, point. I thought it just occurred when it was, like, <laughs> Every, relevant. Remember like, in Death Note when character. it was like, here's a rule to Death Note. And, like, <laughs> that's the halfway point. Or how about a uh, full metal? I, full metal alchemist. Full metal alchemist. Again, that, their yeah, of it. did not realize that that's what was. <laughs> Attack on Titan. They would show. Um, they would show like drawings of like the history of the Titans. Uh, there. Yeah, but like in moment. The, in it, the halfway point. Every okay, single but time. I thought they were. They were <laughs> always things that were like. Oh, like this is like a little like sidebar thing you need to know for the story that's happening right now. This is just a blank screen that's like intermission, you know? They're all bl screens no. that mean intermission. So really, do you think you need to know the powers of Deku every single time? They, but they don't show that exact one every single time. Yeah, they do show they? The, the characters that are in the scenes they show. Really? Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's been... all right. <laughs> the other shows should start doing this. <laughs> Every single show we've watched has done it. You're funny. My bad. You're funny. <laughs> Hello, Momo? Don't worry. It was oh, a hell of a moment. shot. Yeah. And more important, wasn't that bright light Mechamaru's ultimate cannon? And now, all of a sudden, I can't get a hold of him. If he felt cornered enough, oh, so Nobara and Mechamaru are out. Missing, okay. And he probably lost, and Panda's still around. You should get out of there and go back to patrolling from the air. Without you, we're all in trouble. Mm -hmm. I bet our broom is actually permanently messed up. Yeah. It's Not permanently, okay, but for a bit. I like, understand. yeah, it'll have an impact on the way it What's moves. This? Yeah. Aren't or if it moves. Call your friends? Yeah. Well, all right, fine, sister I battle. I can still take you even two on one. There are lots of different ways to enjoy this, right? Sure, I could have everyone beat you together, but I'm going to enjoy beating you by myself. You ought to call me Big Sis, little sister. So hey, how do you feel about Maki? She literally brought a knife to a gunfight. Hmm. Uh, I think she's a smart and wonderful woman. Huh? I'm talking about as a sorcerer. Oh, really? Wait, Maki is the person that's on our side. Mei is their sister, and Maki is the one that is in his school. Okay. To be honest, I still don't know all that much about Jujutsu, but Maki's really strong in a fight. Maybe it's her balance. Even just the way she walks is scary. Don't forget, she's a fourth grade. Huh? Really? She's from a famous sorcerer clan family, but she left them and so they've been interfering with her promotion ever since she left. Why oh, wow. Is sorcerer family yeah, not this is what we were hearing about earlier. Yeah. Her? They refuse to acknowledge what they've already rejected. Because they're idiots. Still, if she does well in the event, and Maki's name starts to become better known, it's gonna be harder for them to harass her like that. So let's start by winning the group battle, you guys! You have to fight like you're about to die all over again! I can hear you, you know. <laughs> Jeez. I should know better than to let myself get distracted like that. What are you smiling about?! Oh boy. Now she's using the sword. Sick. <laughs> yeah, I guess rubber bullets. So what if she hides out of sight? Are sliceable? Are you just trying to gain distance? Well, that won't work. Oh, ho, ho. from below? I should have known. Maki has a talent I don't. So have you heard about Ogi's daughters? 
One of them can't even see curses, much less use techniques. Twins are always a sign of ill fortune. Thank heaven they're Oof. daughters, at least. I couldn't bear to see an eldest son as a lowly servant. Saying they're going to be lowly servants? Mommy. Yeah. What's the matter with you? Let's go. Hurry up. I'm afraid. Afraid of what? Come on, if we're late again, we'll get in trouble. It's them. Again? <sighs> All right, I'll help you out. Are you... Come on, just close your eyes. If you can't see them, it's like they're not even there. You always acted like you had no fear. And plowed forward towards your future. I always hated you for that. So you're leaving the clan, Maki? You seem to have plenty of servants around. I doubt you'll miss me at all. But I do intend to return someday, clan leader. Why would you return? So I can become the head of the Zenin clan! Oh! <laughs> this is our grand goal. Well, if that's the case, I'll put you through ordeals you'll be lucky to survive! You can do as you please. And my as well. Mai's not involved in this. Oh. This is what got her involved? I'm thinking maybe Mai was forced to leave because Maki wanted to leave. Oh, okay. What a liar. Maybe. I hate you. Maybe that explains why they hate each other. Animation this going off again. This is crazy animation. Just, like, that's awesome. The eye reflection. Yeah. Oh my lord. That was your sixth shot. I won't let you reload. I hate you. Just keep I saying it. You. There, a gun came out of the. Oh no. Okay. I hate you. Whoa. Just How is she still Where's firing? the water coming from? Where's the what? The water coming from? So, my, that's cursed energy. That's, gotcha. So, any blue sort of energy that you see is gotcha. somebody using cursed energy. Cool. Gotcha. Also, she said she had used her sixth bullet and then fired another bullet just Yeah, now. and it looked like a gun when it came out. I, won't let you I think that's just animation. Oh, yeah, okay. I hate you. Yeah, no, you're right. How did she have another one? Which is why I never told you about my first love. Oh. About my technique. Oh. Construction uses one's cursed energy to create matter from nothing. Oh. It differs what? from the manifestation she made the bullet. of innate domain within Holy the shit. of a domain expansion. The matter produced by construction doesn't disappear when the cursed technique ends. Because of that, it consumes a lot of cursed energy and puts a heavy strain on the body. Creating one bullet a day is Mai's maximum. So she wow. uses revolver to create confusion about how many bullets she has. Left. Oh, that's so that's smart. That's really smart. I win. Yeah, how is she going to get out of this? Oh my god. She's oh, okay. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, what? I should never do that with my bare hands. <laughs> um I didn't realize that was an option. Yeah, damn. Oh. I don't like Megamaru, she has a heavenly pact, but hers is somehow different. Normally she oh. would be born with a curse technique. But in exchange for that, she was granted superhuman physical abilities. Oh. The Zenin clan would never acknowledge it. That this was a talent that I lacked. Wait, so she took a heavenly pact when she was younger which took away her ability to have curse technique and gave her enhanced physical strength? I think so. I think that's what they're saying. She has a heavenly pact, but hers is somehow different. Normally, she would have been born with a curse technique. But in exchange for that, she was granted superhuman physical yep. abilities. 
The Zenin clan would never acknowledge it. That this was a talent. <laughs> that I lacked. Well, what now? Is this settled then? Why? Why did you leave the clan? Come on! You know the answer to that! You joined no, she didn't have to go with her. Wrong! Yeah. <laughs> I never wanted to be a Jujutsu sorcerer! It's all your fault! Because you tried so hard to be one, I was forced to follow in your footsteps! Mm, yeah, I'm that is what happened. So mm -hmm. sick of facing all these scary things! We could have just done a few chores and lived like everyone else does! <laughs> Why couldn't you have just stayed and been satisfied down at the bottom with me? Because I would have hated myself if I had done that. That's why. I'm sorry. Big sister, don't let go. I won't let go. You never will. Jeez, give it a rest. You never leave me behind. Oh, God. Of course oh. I won't. Oh, After no. All, we're sisters. What a liar. I hate you. Okay, so my and Nobara both out. Wow. Well, that was devastatingly sad. Damn. And that's where we're left for this episode. Let's go to our juju scroll. Hopefully it's a little, a little more upbeat. I'm sure it'll be peppy. I'm so hungry. Fortunately, I think my leftover edamame from lunch is still in the fridge. <laughs> I don't know why those sounds are a little funny. Sorry. You can at least try to look a little guilty. As a token of my apology, have this. Uh, no, I'm not interested in late night cup ramen. <laughs> Mishimiya style seafood cup ramen. Step one, use scissors to chop off hot chili peppers into the seafood cup ramen. Two, fill the container halfway with milk. Three, add hot water Odd. up to the line inside. It's just like carbonara. Make sure mm. the water is boiling hot. Mm. This is good. It's really good. Right. Maybe I'll have it next time too. Why didn't you eat this? Instead of taking my edamame. Well, you still pay the price for late night cup ramen the next day. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, and that is where we are left for episode 17 of Jujutsu Kaisen. This one really burns through the cursed energy, so I can only use it by itself. I've only managed to tame it recently. Whoa. Max That's elephant. cool. Oh. What? Oh. This is the coolest power. Yo! So what are your first right. thoughts? That was really sad. That, yeah. Oh my god. I mean, I hope there's a way for them to reconcile, but it seems like they're both so far down their separate paths. Yeah, May, May said I hate you yeah, like 18 times. Yeah. Like, uh, it's hard to undo that. Yeah, pretty rough. Uh, but uh, that's where we're left for this episode. Thank you for watching, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you enjoyed that episode. And are excited for our next episode coming next Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes right now, they're all posted to Patreon in their extended full-length forms along with episodes of Season 2. We have a lot to discuss, but before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions we answer after every episode of any show we watch, join the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. Question one. Alan Cooper asks, how do you feel about this episode giving a spotlight to the woman, to the women of the show? Hell and yeah. also just the plots that they sort of had. It's fabulous. Love it. Like I was having myself, I was noticing myself. I was like, I feel like I haven't seen many anime episodes where it's just all women all the time in terms of like the combat that's so interesting because like that first didn't, episode. it didn't seem like like I'm, I'm noticing it now but it didn't it wasn't like end game when all the women pulled up exactly at once and, and it's like, like you got your shot it wasn't very clearly like a bunch of executives sat down at a table and were like all right guys we need to have 
an episode of just women. Like, um, no, it was just, it was, it was just a great episode. And like the discussions on the patriarchy were interesting and really, like, really, really cool. Like, I forget, I don't know the name of the person on the broom, but with Nobara, that conversation of like, yeah, that's a bunch of yap. I'm mm-hmm. gonna, I like feeling pretty and I also like kicking ass. Like, mm-hmm. interesting that they have like similar points of view, but different ways of thinking about it. Yeah. Like, I mean, that, that's a pretty accurate representation of a lot of the different perspectives on feminism in general. Yeah, I thought it was really cool. Let's go to our second question. Um, Second question, Ashton asks, piggybacking off a question that I posted last episode about heavenly packs and restrictions, have your opinions on them changed? After seeing what it took from Mechamaru, as well as what he gained, and now including Maki's heavenly pact of being born with no cursed energy or technique, but having increased physical prowess to the level of catching a bullet, do you think heavenly packs are more of a blessing or a curse? Um, no, I've doubled down. Yeah. Um, it's terrible. <laughs> really? It like you can't decide something like that as a child on principle. Yeah. J- like I don't even know if she decided it because if you're born with no cursed energy, wouldn't that be somebody else making a heavenly pact? Yeah, I guess. For like you? who made that choice? Like I'm confused you know? at how that works. Exactly. Like, did they see this baby and go like, <laughs> roll the Fuck dice? You. Like, yeah. No. Exactly. Um, maybe not the greatest thing. No. I'm wondering what the other heavenly packs we're gonna meet are gonna be like. Yeah, like, are there? I mean, she's still really great. Ma- Maki's really powerful. Right. Yeah. No. It's like increased physical strength isn't necessarily a bad thing, but trading things like that when you're not in charge of yourself is a little. It's a lot iffy. Um, yeah. So you're doubling down. You're not yeah. a big fan of heavenly nope. packs. No. I'm just. I'm curious if we're gonna meet anyone who like objectively is better off because of it you know like there are the people we've met so far like you could make the argument that there are like some specific situations yeah mechamaru is not better off i'd say no like He's one category of like definitively not yeah but wh- like what's his power he can distance use curse technique and pilot like puppets right so that's like a cool thing to be able to do but it's not worth it at all like i don't think anyone would look at that situation and think it was worth it maki's it's arguable i i still don't think so but i think the split would be like if it was like 99 percent and one percent for mechamaru i could see it being like 80 20 for maki Um, really the the trade-off for her is you don't get to see curses but you get physical prowess and strength. That's not that bad. Like, it, it, she wants to be a sorcerer, sure, so it stinks she can't use curse technique, but like, not getting to use curse technique and not seeing curses in exchange for being able to catch a bullet and do crazy stuff, like, but in a universe you can't see where, curses like, right curses now. Are like, and, oh, yeah. Like, you would be able to essentially, hey, would you like to not see the terrifying beasts, but have the power to stop them? Like, yeah. uh, it's, it's somewhat of a bad thing, and, but like, the average person would be like yeah give me the enhanced strength i don't have to see these things i guess but then there's also like the way it affected her relationship with her sister but you can't really like well she it's more her leaving the clan that actually impacted that yeah but like i'll actually there's ask this uh, as a follow-up question addy asks what do you think of maki's goal of wanting to be head of the clan that treated her so poorly instead of an alternate goal like dismantling it um and also just i'm gonna wrap into that what do you think of her essentially instead of being a servant leaving yeah um i think the commitment to coming back and being in charge rather than just fixing the situation or like preventing it from occurring in the future just shows that it still has a bigger hold on her than she thinks it does and it's like a very common trauma response to do something to someone else that you have had done to you in like a bad way and what do you how do you think that so, statement applies to this? so maki being treated so poorly by the clan and wanting to come back and be part of that system is still be in charge of the system yes di- okay did she like specify and like and make it fair and make it um like i no. i didn't get the impression that it was about i'm gonna be in charge so i can make the system less fucked up it was i'm gonna be in charge because i wasn't before and that's she not i great. think what more what she's saying is i'm gonna be in charge because you said that as a woman i couldn't be and because i couldn't see curse technique i couldn't be okay so to i'm just gonna prove go them wrong. get more powerful and prove that i can be the head okay which is like i think okay i could see i that. think what we're essentially meant to see is that um 
Maki is like fighting the pig. Patriarchy and May's a bit of a victim of the patriarchy. Mm -hmm. Whereas, so May's like, why couldn't we have just stayed home and like right. been at the bottom together? And Maki's like, I would have hated myself. Like, yeah. I need to get out of this. And like, the result is May hating her, but that's also more of a reflection of internalized misogyny. I did the ja instead of ga misogyny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Seems like internalized misogyny. Yeah. Um, but like, it, it also is a very interesting perspective. Like, two takes from twin sisters about how to address the system yeah you know 100 percent. because it, you're right that it, even if she's the head of it like if she doesn't change anything you're just perpetuating the wheel well exactly and even if she was going to change it that wasn't the primary driver like that wasn't the main force behind like her ambition yeah her ambition seems to be more like i'm gonna prove you wrong mm -hmm. yeah but it should maybe be more like i'm gonna be my own person yeah but um I'm interested to see where this goes. Like the Zenon clan, like this whole like rooted problem, this thing. I wonder if mm -hmm. she's event like if we're gonna see more of that. Yeah. But that was a really great episode. Mm -hmm. But that's actually about it. Uh, are we excited for episode 18 of Jujutsu Kaisen? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go.